Hi, this is Kevin Woodbury. I'm currently working in Photoshop uh, CC 2015.5. I could be working on any version really of Photoshop and this would work. And what I want to show you how to do is take this image, take out the window panes and replace it um, with that image. So I've loaded the two images in. Uh, they're both um, roughly sized uh, the same. Uh, they're both 50% and they're both 8 by 10 images. And what I want to show you first is how to remove the frames that are there. Now, when you're working within a layer, such as the background layer, you can't actually make edits to the background layer. So first thing I want to do is right click on background layer and hit duplicate layer. Now there's a couple of ways you can do a duplicate layer. That's the way I do it. Uh, you can also come down here and do it, but um, and you can even drag the background layer down and create a, a background a uh, duplicate layer. But I, I choose to do it that way. Theoretically, I should have renamed this new layer and called it something that's relevant to what I'm about to do. So I might have put select window frames, but for the moment, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but just for future reference, when you create layers, it's good to name them properly. So I want to show you how to use first the quick select tool, which is this tool here. It may be in a different location on your toolbar, but it always looks the same. And the quick select tool is great for um, areas where there's not a lot of um, debris, if you want to call it that, like these tree limbs, I would call debris in this case. It's great for window frames like this where there's not a lot in there and it's defined borders. Um, and let me show you what I mean. I'm going to hold down my uh, command key or control key on a PC and I'm going to hit plus because I want to zoom in. Okay, and if I use this uh, quick select tool and I'm going to make it a little bigger using my right bracket. Okay, and I'm going to just kind of touch in that frame and it selected the whole frame. It went a little too far down here, but it did select the whole frame because there were defined borders being the edges of the window pane. So uh, in order to um, uh, eliminate this extra selection, um, I want to hold down my uh, um, option key or an alt key on a PC. That changes this to a deselect and I'm just going to kind of, with my mouse, I'm going to uh, hold down the cursor and I'm going to, or hold down the uh, left mouse button and I'm going to kind of just nudge this up into where I want it to be. Uh, now it isn't always cooperative, um, but over here it's a little too far over. Um, and for our purposes, that's not bad. So um, the quick select tool, um, it starts as a uh, selection tool. If you want it to be a deselection tool, you hold down the uh, Alt or the Option key um, and click on your mouse and kind of just nudge it to where you want it to go. So that's one selection tool. Uh, the other that I'm going to show you is the polygonal selection tool. Um, now with this one, I already have a frame selected and it's um, going to deselect unless I hold down the shift key. Notice now there's a plus sign. See the, the cursor without it and the cursor with it. So I hold down the shift key, it puts a plus sign there. And with the polygonal, it's nice. I can just click where I want it to start. Whoops. Okay. And then I draw a straight line uh, holding down my mouse button. I let up on the mouse button, click again and go into a new direction. Let go of the mouse button, click again, go in a third direction, and hold, let go of the mouse button, click again, and I'm back up to where I started. Oops. Uh, well, there you go. Okay. So the polygonal is a little cleaner. Um, granted, I didn't do a great job in going all the way up to the top of this, but uh, that's how the two tools work. Um, now, I'm going to uh, do a shortcut here. I'm going to first zoom out a little. So I'm going to hold down my command or control key 
and hit the minus. So I'm zooming out just a little bit. And I had gone through and I selected every one of these window frames. So I'm going to save us some time. And what I did is once they were selected, I went in here and I said save selection and I called it window. So now that I've gotten that, I can load that selection again. And I'm going to go in and say, no, I want window. And I'm going to say, OK. And notice now all the frames are selected. Um, so if I'm going through the process and I've got all of these selected, I can go again and say save selection. I can call it something uh, new by just typing a name or I can just say I'm going to overwrite window. I'm going to say replace the channel and say OK. And now it's saved and I can recall it just like I did before. So once these are selected, um, now I want to create a new layer. And I want to do it via a cut because I want to eliminate those, those frames. And once that's done, all I have to do is deselect the top layer that I created, deselect the background layer, and voila, uh, there is no more window. So, uh, or window glass. So I can bring them back in if I want, but in this case, I really don't want to do that. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to take this image and I want to bring it so that it looks like it's behind the glass. So um, first thing I want to do, and there's lots of ways you can do this. This is the way I do it. First, I want to drag this tab down off that bar so it's a separate frame. Okay, and then I want to go and I want to... I'm going to do it this way for a reason, but I'm going to use my marquee tool. I'm going to select this by just dragging that marquee tool across it. I'm going to go to my move tool. And I'm going to hold down my command or control T. And I'm going to drag it into this frame um, and let it go. Okay, so it, it's over the top of the uh, window and that's okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Layer, Arrange, Send to Back. And notice now it's taking the place, and I can move this around any way I want. And it's taking the place of the uh, image that was there before. So if I want to go back to what I had, there it is. Um, if I want to go to the new one, there that is. And again, I can move this around as long as I'm on this layer. I can just kind of click anywhere in it and move it around to where I think it's most attractive. I'm not sure that's where it is the most attractive, but that's where I'm going to leave it. And um, I'm pretty much done uh, at this point. And I think that kind of gives you an idea of some of the things you can do with the selection tool. Um, again, with the move tool we used. Um, I hope this was helpful. This is just a quick and dirty um, uh, process. There's other ways you can do it. This is the way I do it. So for Kevin Woodbury, um, have a good evening. I hope this helps.